Hi Shane here, you're watching Sam for God, and this is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? And welcome to another one of my Disney hotel room tours. Today we're standing in, well, one of the hallways, many hallways, of the Disneyland Hotel at Disneyland Paris. So we're in the actual Disneyland Hotel, the main hotel, my favourite hotel of all time probably, uh, the most magical hotel of all time, and basically the entrance Disneyland Paris. It's the pink hotel that you see as you enter Disneyland Paris. It's beautiful and I feel incredibly lucky to be able to share this room with you. So we're only staying here for one night, um, but we're not just staying in any room, we're staying in a room with a terrace. So it's not a standard room, I think it's one level above the standard rooms if we're hearing some noises, sorry about that. You know, other rooms around, it's night time, there's children in some of them, so they might be crying, who knows. But to me, I was staying in a room with a terrace, which is actually on the lobby, the reception area, so we'd, we'd, we're on the same floor as the reception, the reception is all the way down there. Which is actually kind of convenient, especially if you have like children or families and like, you know, you want life to be easy. But um, yeah, let's, let's go and have a look, like I still feel overwhelmed because Oh my god, it's our first night. We'll be staying here for only one night, but we haven't actually stayed the night yet, if that makes sense. It's like 10 o'clock at night. You know, we're staying here tonight and then we're leaving tomorrow. But this is the room number 1044. This is the decor of the situation here. Look at the handle here. It's Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, like, beautiful. And then we've got a card situation, just like any of the cards. And then we put it in. And it's green. And we go inside. Lord have mercy. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring the camera on me so you don't actually see the room just yet. We'll obviously have a full tour together in a second. But that's it. We're in the room now. So I've been very lucky, guys. I've actually stayed at the Disneyland Hotel twice before. This is my third time staying here. I stayed here once when I was a child many years ago, probably like back in like 19... 95 or 1996 or something like that only for one night uh, with my family shout out to my family for helping us stay here and I don't actually remember it that much to be honest and then I stayed here back in 2013 and there's a vlog of that in April of 2013 with my uh, three friends Rebecca, Beth and Katie and we stayed here for four nights but that was a standard room but it was incredible it was just amazing to be able to do it as an adult and, and you know the fact that I'm here again now after like nearly four years Oh my god, it makes me just so, so excited. So, um, we'll start with, basically, let's just start with what you see. I'll give you a quick glimpse of what you see when you first enter the room. So this, look at that, this is your view. I mean, it's massive. Like, even before you've actually gone into the room, you, re you see, you can tell how big it is. But we're not going to go just into the room just yet. We're going to have a look at the toilet first, the bathroom. I know it's not the most exciting thing of all things, but it actually is very cute. So let's just head into the bathroom very, very quickly together. We're in the bathroom. Um, firstly, you'll notice that there's a massive mirror, which is great. Then if you look a bit more, you know, carefully, you'll see that the seven dwarfs are around this mirror. So that's very cute, like a very cute princessy touch. And you've got Snow White right at the top in the center. And that's really good. I also really enjoy the stars here by the lights and the lamps. And then one of my favorite things about um, the Disneyland hotel rooms is that there's actually two sinks. So we've got one sink and two sink. And I believe, as far as I know, because even the standard rooms in the Disneyland hotel offer you two sinks. Um, and I think it's the only hotel in Disneyland Paris that um, does that. Most other hotels here, the rooms, the normal standard rooms only have one sink. And I mean, one thing is fine if you're just like two people or something but when you because i'd normally come with friends and like on this trip there's four of us it's really nice and handy to have two sinks because it just makes things quicker in the mornings and you know like we can eat two of us can kind of share a sink and it, we don't have to all wait for that one person to get their stuff done but you know what i mean it's just great i've got a beautiful mirror here which is lovely i've got a hair dryer i'm still a bit overwhelmed by this whole situation and then the detail on the top of the bathroom like look at that it's all like different uh, scenes from Fantasia which is beautiful because I mean it's just all so magical and princess like I don't know I love it and then here we've got another kind of full length mirror and you can see me hello I might just close this very quickly so you can have a proper look at the bathroom um you get a hanger here and uh, so you get this little kind of side wall thing um before you actually have the toilet the toilet is just standard toilet you know you've all seen one we've got a emergency toilet phone thing we've got some toilet paper very normal stuff 
Um, it's nice that you kind of get this privacy thing just in case again like you're here with your friends and your friends want to shower and you just want to quickly pop by and have you know go to the toilet you can do that the curtains are beautiful very very beautiful it's kind of like a lovely flowers creamy flowers like again just you just feel like a princess just even like touching them and then just the tiles are the hippos from Fantasia again like so cute Okay, I know this won't be everyone's thing. Um, if you're not really into pink and like cute and magical things, you might not like this hotel. But I love pink and I love anything that's cute. So this is just like so cute to me. And you could get a bathtub as well. I think the bath is pretty much the same size as any of the other bathtubs you get in any of the other Disney hotel rooms in Disneyland Paris. You get a selection of like um, shampoos and conditioners and stuff like that. You get some towels, of course, like, in, like with many hotels, to be honest. And um, that's basically the um the bathroom like i hope i've kind of showed everything I'm, i feel like i've pretty much showed the gist of it it's quite a big bathroom compared to ones in like the cheyenne or the santa fe so that's really really nice and the two sink thing for me is the best thing about it then as soon as you step out of the bathroom you have this cupboard area which i actually haven't properly looked at myself yet but we'll open it together so there you go loads of hangers you get robes, which is really cute. So we've got two here, but I'm sure if we like needed more, we could ask for two more. I don't think we're going to ask them because we don't really need them. But it's really cute that you get them. I think it's it's the only hotel that gives you these at in Disneyland Paris because it's a quite a posh hotel. You even get slippers over here with the Disneyland Hotel logo on them, which is really really cute. Again, we've only got two pairs, but. I'm sure if you ask for more, they'd give you them. They've got an ironing board here, an iron, like everything's just like completely here for you. We've got some wash bags. And then here on the other side, let's just do this together. One, two, three. One, two, three. We've got a safe, of course, because safes are important. Every hotel room should have a safe, in my opinion. And then I think here is just like a laundry situation. So that's good to know as well. And then, guys, it's time. It's time to see the main event. So before we actually walk to the proper room area, look at the lamp up here. It's just a standard lamp. You know, you might be wondering what does a lamp look like? It's just a lamp in this hallway thing. Oh my God. Right, so we, the room is huge, like, Lord. Right, so this is the room, guys. I'm just gonna have to give you like a quick pan before we go into detail, but look at this. I've got two massive beds, like an incredible like window situation over there. This, oh, I don't even know what to call this, this wardrobe thing over here, the TV's in there, our luggage is here, I mean, this room is insanely huge, and we've got like, oh, I don't even, Lord, like, sorry, but I am just like, still a bit overwhelmed by this, because, um, even though, like I said, I've, I've stayed at the Disneyland Hotel before, the standard rooms aren't as big as the rooms, that this current room that I'm in right now, because like I said, this one's, I think, the one, the first one that's a bit higher up than a normal standard room, so it's, it's a room with a terrace, basically, which means that I think the ceilings are very high, I don't know how well you're able to say it, to, like, see it on camera, but they're very high, so you literally feel like you're in a castle of some sort, it's really, it's really quite uh, overwhelming, genuinely. And um, of course you've got a massive window situation there, like a terrace, which I'll show you to you later as well. But I think we should start from this right hand side here. So we've got this beautiful photo uh, framed. I think it's um, of Snow White again, yeah. And the Seven Dwarfs and the Wishing Well over there. It's just a beautiful picture, very, very classy. You know, like very elegant. I love it. I love the wallpaper as well. Um, and then you've got the first bed. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. You know, very pink themed, uh, very magical, very princess-like. These are just my ears. This as well, like, the people, staff here at the Disneyland Hotel are incredible. So this was a pixie dust situation that we all got. I'm staying here with three of my friends on this trip. So it's me and my friend Daisy, Sharika, and uh, Matthew. And we each got given, I don't know if it's going to show or not, let me just make sure. There you go, I think it's going to hopefully focus. There you go, so I just wrote our names on these kind of limited edition uh, 20th anniversary, 25th anniversary badges. Uh, and they said they normally just give these to children, but they looked, they saw how excited we were, and then uh, the lady at the reception brought these up to us. So very, very kind of her. But anyway, so we get this kind of nice throw on the on the bed, which is just kind of a standard thing. Uh, the pillows, I mean, again, I've not slept here yet, but they seem very comfortable. Obviously, this is the duvet. We also got this on the bed, which just says Sweet Dreams, and like... Um, the second star to the right has got the, basically the song the lyrics from second star to the right on the back which is also 
very very cute shines in the night for you to tell you that I mean, I mean this is just really really cute just some information about Tinkerbell really so this was on the bed we also each had a chocolate on each uh, kind of uh, bed area as well which was nice um, the beds themselves are beautiful like they're very subtle in my opinion but also very magical so as you can see you've got a picture of the castle on them but it's not out there so it's just very kind of beautiful and I don't know elegant and I just, I just love it I love these beds and you get a little thingy uh, on what do you call it I don't know what you call these things actually let me know if you know these bed um, bottom things that you can put well you have well there's two actually one over there and one here uh, you don't have these things you don't get them in every single hotel room you do get them in kind of the posher room so pretty cool that we have them just to put your bags or whatever same situation here the next bed is literally the same thing uh, two uh, pillows on each uh, side you've got the castle situation the beds are very big as you can see they go quite high up and the ceiling is so high up that it's just crazy we get bedside lamps as well uh, we've got this kind of uh, thing in the middle a little table thing but um yeah so obviously like i said because it's our first night we only staying here one night uh we haven't actually slept on these yet but i'm pretty sure like, as it seems it's going to be like sharika sleeping here with daisy and then my friend matthew here and then me here because i if you've watched my vlogs for a long time you know that i like to be as far away from the window as possible i don't know why it's just my preference in hotel rooms just a weird thing that i just i just don't like being by the window I like being by the wall, so that's my thing. Let me know if you're like me as well. But, um, so that's the bed situation, absolutely gorgeous. In fact, actually, let me show you these as well. So we get some magazines here, which is nice. We get a Paris one, just another few things, I don't know, just some magazines. And then here, we get a map for, like, jogging, which is very useful if you're into jogging and running, which is cool. We get this beautiful Disneyland pa uh, Hotel pa uh, pencil, I think. Yeah, my, this is a pencil, mechanical pencil. And some like sh uh, just kind of writing pad situation very cute um, this is the room service menu as well um, if you're wondering like, what the prices are I mean uh, it's all right like it's for for what it is considering like you're staying in a very posh hotel like the prices are decent so as you can see I'm like, just flicking quite so you can see some of the prices but there you go that's kind of what's here we've got a telephone as well of course and then we come here and I've got this wardrobe situation <laughs> which opens and oh it's it's beautiful so before we even open it let me just make sure you see exactly what's on here because again it's pretty subtle but when you look at it like and when you notice what's happening so we've got peter pan lord have mercy peter pan's just chilling there you know very subtle and that's the ship the pirate ship and we've got some clouds going on at the top like this is just so cute but like i don't know i just think it's beautiful and that's that and then you open it and of course you've got the TV and it's currently on and oh look at that it says welcome the Seri Samar misses or miss to sorry because I'm a miss to this land hotel um so that's me obviously Sam Samar the Seri um and then we get a lot of things here like I don't even use half of these things we've got a kettle we've got some coffee machine situation going on here we've got information about the cruise line or whatever you want we've got a mini bar here which I'm obviously not gonna use because it's quite expensive the items on it like earlier my friend Matthew was having a look and apparently a bottle of water is like five euros fifty or something that's crazy but I'll show it to you because you just, you know, just in case you're wondering what's inside so we've got some drinks and the bottles of water like look how small they are I'm not going to touch them just in case they charge me but they're quite small bottles of Vitel and they're five pounds five euros something that's quite a lot of money this apparently is also about five euros crazy so um <laughs> not something that I would um you know use but you know if you're if you're into them at least you know what they provide you with I'm going to turn this or close this because we don't need them anymore but look at these glasses as well before we go they've got well they've provided us with four different beautiful glasses as well so if we do decide to have any of the drinks we can just pour them in these glasses which is nice of them let's close this back up and then we've got these drawers which i think most of them will probably be quite empty i mean i lied clearly we've got a lot of stuff going on here we've got a disney hotel suites and club rooms booklet thing here which gives you information about uh, most of the Disneyland Paris hotels and the club level so like the castle club level here if you want to stay there which is like literally my dream like I want to make it happen for my 30th birthday somehow but who knows it is quite expensive very expensive to be fair but this is cool if you just want to have a look at uh, stuff whilst you're, in, you're staying in this room and the second one is pretty empty third one I'm guessing might be empty as well fourth one is also empty but it's good that you get quite a lot of space to put your stuff in um, so again if you're sharing this room with friends or whatever or if you're a family 
you've got enough space to put everything in there. You've got a bin here as well, which just says Disneyland Hotel on it with a beautiful Tinkerbell on it, which is really, really cute. And then here you've got like a desk, not a desk, a table. This is my bag, by the way. <laughs> I've got a table and two lovely chairs, which are very cute as well. And the table itself is also very cute and beautiful. And this is, I believe, oh, this is the beautiful, um, one of the most beautiful things we found, actually. Um, it's like a writing set, like you get a beautiful postcard. Like, look at that. So, so pretty. Um, it's just like a kind of drawing of um, this land hotel. And it's a postcard, like I think that's so beautiful. And then we've got like some writing stuff going on here. It's just also like, oh, I just love it. The detail is incredible. So that's that. And then, oh, this is uh, Daisy and Matthew's pins. This is just a map of the park. Um, we get some cool uh, pictures here as well. They're all kind of Fantasia themed because that's basically the outline theme of the Disneyland Hotel. We get a lamp here as well. And look at the space here. Like, there's so much space. You don't understand. Like I can like... I can just be like, woo, I've got so much space in this room. Like, you're just like, this is so cool. I'm not used to rooms being so... And then the fact that the ceilings are so high gives the impression of it being even bigger than it actually is, which is amazing. And then here is, like, the kind of cream on top of the situation because we've got this, um, this terrace, basically, which I don't, I don't want to... Should I open it? I don't know if I should or not. It's quite late, but I'll just really quickly open it. <laughs> How do we do this? There you go. So I'm not actually going to open the terrace thing at the moment because it is quite late. But you can kind of see from here, they've got like a cool, very cute uh, table set up going on here. And you get like, this is like the entrance to Disneyland Paris is like over there somewhere. Um, because it's quite dark, you're not going to see much anyway. But what I'm going to do is that I'll insert a clip of us tomorrow morning when we have our breakfast hopefully here so you get to see it kind of in daylight and see what it's like to just kind of chill there. It's the next morning guys and I thought I'd very quickly show you what our little terrace thing uh, looks like now that it's a bit more light so this is what I'm saying it's, it does not it does not open very well oh there you go Daisy is the queen of this this is the situation guys so oh it's not so we can have to test, test the weather as well we've got the other, other rooms over there it's quite beautiful you know and that's the entrance to the Disneyland park if you can see down there there's they See, they had their breakfast outside, the people next to us, Daisy. They've got coffee and stuff, unless, unless it's from last night. I think that's funny. Yeah, probably from last night. But this is it. you get three seats and a lovely table. And that's basically the little terrace situation. Very cute. I'm a fan. But yes, that is basically it. I love these extra cushions here as well. They're very nice. Um, I'm still so in love with this hotel. It's still my favourite Disneyland hotel or Disney hotel of all time. I even got this like special card earlier because when we got here earlier at like 12 the room wasn't ready so they gave us this beautiful Disneyland Paris card and on the other side it just says my name if it focuses one two three. Um, oh is it going to focus? Come on I believe in you camera. There you go so just a Samana Seri and the dates uh, that we're staying here in Disneyland hotel so that's just a cool little thing to have I guess as a keepsake. But that's Basically, yeah, this is the hotel room that we're very, like, incredibly lucky to be staying at, um, me and my three friends. Like, I thought it might be interesting for you guys to have a look and see what it's like. Um, I just, I mean, they're just, like, the, the quality of the service that you get when you stay in the Disneyland Hotel is insane. Not even just the room itself, but just, like, the cast members just go above and beyond. I mean, cast members generally are amazing anyway in Disney, but when you stay in the Disneyland Hotel, it's just, like, something that you can't even explain. And also, they've got, like... A thing here as well a heater like if you want to make the room cooler or hotter you can do that just because you know i think that's quite important as well but that's basically the room again i hope you enjoy it i hope you enjoyed this room tour i hope i didn't ramble on too much and actually made some sense because i know i've been very overwhelmed still also if you're wondering those mickeys and minis um are a cute little surprise from me to my friends so watch the vlog from my trip uh, in october 2017 if you want to see what happened and how they got to here and what, what not but yeah anyway i'm going to end this little room tour that i did i hope you enjoy this video let me know if you've ever stayed at the disneyland hotel uh if you've stayed at the hotel in disneyland hotel which has the room that has the terrace as well i think they're called just rooms with terraces um or if you want to stay here like if you've not stayed here before but you're maybe thinking of potentially staying here because it is possible to sometimes get good offers especially like obviously because we're only staying for one night it wasn't that expensive um and sometimes you just have to kind of keep looking and if, if you've got an annual pass it's worth kind of calling them up and seeing what the uh, prices are for this hotel with discounts and stuff because you know and it's, you know, it's possible to get a good deal and if you really want to stay here even though it can be sometimes very expensive and you just want to just have to you, know, you just want to experience it once 
I think it's worth it. Like, just do it. Like, do it one time. Save up your money and stay here. Maybe stay for more than one night as well to be able to do it again, make the most of it because it's a massive, it's a beautiful hotel. There's so much to do. Um, and it's just so convenient being so close to the park. But that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave comments down below, anything you want. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.